Okay, in this video, I'm going to um, read and write to multiple EEPROM chips. And I've done one video previously where I read and write to a single chip. Um, so you may want to take a look at that one first. Uh, this time I'm going to read and write to four different chips and show you how, how to address those chips um, and how to, how to wire them up. Okay, so this is the data sheet for the EEPROM chip that we're going to be using. And the, the model number is 24LC512. And if we go down here and look at the pinouts. Okay, so pins 1, 2, and 3 are for setting the address. Pin 4 is the ground pin. Uh, pin 5 is the I2C data pin. Pin 6 is I2C clock pin. Pin 7 is the write protect pin. And pin 8 is the the VCC pin so this will be connected to 5 volts write protect is going to go to ground because we're not going to write protect it we're going to we're going to write and read from these and then so since we're using four chips we're going to connect um, all the clock uh, pins together and all the data pins together and then wire those up to the Arduino clock and data pins which are clock pin is uh, analog 5 and the data pin is analog 0 Okay, so in the in the first video I made, writing reading and writing to this EEPROM, um, I set all these address pins low, and that gave it an I squared C address of uh, 50 hex. So um, since there's three pins, and they can have they can either be on or off, you can actually have eight different addresses. So you could have eight different chips that you want to read and write to, just. Um, using a combination of setting these high and low. So I'm going to have four chips. The first chip, they're all going to be set to zero. Uh, the second chip, pin one, is going to be set to high. Uh, the, the third chip, pin two, is going to be set to high. And then the fourth chips, pin one and two, are set to high. Also, if we scroll down here, it, it shows you, let's see, how this is addressed. Okay, so the first byte, um, that you send over the wire when, when you want to do a read or write is going to uh, consist, consist of the control code which is going to be 1010 and then um, the, the three the three bit address that we set with pins 1, 2, and 3 and then the last bit is going to be whether it's read or write okay so that's where we get um, the 50 hex, 51 hex, 52 hex so the I squared C address is actually these seven bits and when you call the, if you're using the wire library, if you do read or write, it's going to set this last bit for you, so we don't have to set that manually. Okay, so this is the the circuit, and as you can see, I've got the the four chips. Uh, this is the first chip, second, third, and fourth, and I've got them connected to the f uh, five volt power from the Arduino and the ground from the Arduino. So on both sides of these rails are five volts and ground. <clears throat> So looking at this first chip, uh, this first pin, first three pins are the address pins. So the first chip, I'm setting all three of those to low. Okay, so that's what that's where I'm going to get 50 hex for the I squared C address for that. And the second chip, um, the address pins, I'm setting this first one to high and the next two to low. So that's going to be hex 51. And this third chip, I have the first pin set to low, second to high, and the third to low. So that's going to be 52 hex. And then the fourth chip, uh, I have the first two address pins set to high and the third to low. Okay, so that's going to be 53 hex. Okay, so that's that's how these chips are going to be addressed differently. So um, when you look in this, when we look at the sketch, um, I'll show you how those are addressed. Um, okay, so the other pins on this chip, I went over this in my other video, but the pin number four is just ground. Okay, uh, pin five, which is yellow wire, that's the I squared C data pin. So that goes to analog four on the Arduino. Uh, pin six is this green, green wire. So that's the clock pin, I squared C clock pin. So that goes to analog five on the Arduino. Uh, pin seven is the write protect. Um, I do want to be able to write to these, so I'm going to set that to low. If you wanted to write protect these, if you're if you had already written to them and then wanted to write protect it, you would set that pin to high. Okay, and then the the pin number eight is the power pin, so that goes to the five volt power rail. 
Okay, so this is the Arduino sketch that I'm going to use. And so the first thing you notice, I have four, four of these defines up here. And these are, these are going to define the four I squared C addresses to the four chips. So that's 50 hex, 51 hex, 52 hex, and 53 hex. Okay. Um, and I'm using the wire library, which is the, the I squared C library. So in the setup, I just begin, I'm going to begin the serial monitor because I'm going to be printing um, the results to it. Um, for each of these chips, I'm just going to write to address zero. So that's the address on the chip. That's not the address of the chip, which is the I squared C address. This is, you know, address zero, memory address zero on the chip. And then I've just defined four byte values, 110 through 113. So I'm going to write value one to chip, or value zero to chip zero, value one to chip one, value two to chip two, value three to chip three. Okay, so. Um, so in this first section, read and write from chip zero. So I give it uh, the prom address um, to chip zero, the address on the chip that I want to write to, which is zero, and then the value. Okay, and then I'm going to read re immediately, just read from that address. And so again, I have to give it the I squared C address and the address on the chip, and that's going to return the read value as a byte. Then I'm going to print that out the serial. And then I just repeat the, the exact same things for the next chips. So the only things that change is instead of like address zero, I'm going to give it on this next one for chip one, address one and value one. And it's going to read from one. Okay. And these are the write address and read address functions. I went over those in my previous EEPROM video. So if you have any questions about those, you can go go look at that. Okay. So I'm just going to upload this. To the Arduino and look at the serial monitor. Okay, so so you can see it wrote it wrote 110 to, to the, the first chip, 111 to the second chip, 112 to the third, and 113 to the fourth. Um, I don't think there's any way you can do any kind of simultaneous reads or writes from these chips, um, or or like striping striping the chips. You know, putting a bit or two bits per chip or something um, you, you can only read and write one byte at a time from one chip at a time I don't I don't see any way to um, to simultaneous read and write from multiple chips so uh, thank you for watching the video